Vector autoregressions, or VARs, are the bedrock of modern macroeconomic analysis and have been used as a method of forecasting and analyzing economies since Christopher Sims' seminal work in 1980. In standard VAR analysis, the coefficients of the VAR remain constant through time. Although this assumption makes estimation of the VAR straightforward, the dynamics of actual economies may mean that it is an unrealistic assumption when applied to real-world macroeconomic time series. Consequently, in the past decade, attention has been given to VARs that allow their coefficients to change through time. One such method is the switching VAR model, which was introduced into eViews in version 11. The switching VAR is a model that allows for discrete, occasional changes in the coefficients of the VAR. An alternative approach is the time-varying coefficient VAR, or TVC VAR model. In contrast to switching VARs, this approach models the continuous smooth changes in the coefficients. Whereas the switching VAR's coefficients have fixed states that they switch between, the TVC VAR's coefficients have a continuum of values. Whilst the large coefficient space of the TVC VAR has attracted properties from a modeling perspective, it can lead to difficulties in estimation using classical or frequentist VAR methods. This has meant that Bayesian approaches to TVC VARs, called BTC VARs, has become the de facto approach to estimating time-varying coefficient VAR models. EViews 13 introduces Bayesian time-varying coefficient VAR models as a new VAR estimation method, and we will demonstrate their use with a simple example. The model we estimate is similar to that shown in Chan and Jelyakov 2009. First, we will create a quarterly work file spanning 1955 to 2008. We will use FRED to fetch data on GDP, interest rates, unemployment, and inflation. The GDP series is in levels. We'll create a new series equal to the percent change of GDP so that we can use growth rates. We'll do the same for inflation. To begin, we will estimate a standard classical VAR with a single lag using our four variables. We select the variables, right click, and select Open as VAR. We then change the lag pairs to just a single lag and click OK to display the results. Although there is a great deal of information provided in a standard VAR output, we're going to just remember the coefficient of the first lag of GDP growth in its own equation, which is equal to 0.23. We'll click the Name button to store this VAR for future reference. We'll call it Classic. We can now estimate the same VAR, but using the Bayesian time varying coefficients method, by again selecting the variables in the work file, and then right-clicking, selecting Open as VAR. We now change the method to Bayesian TVC VAR, and again specify a single lag. Following Chan and Jaliakov, we'll change a couple of the hyperparameters slightly. The Bayesian time-varying VAR requires MCMC sampling to carry out posterior inference and prediction. We will increase the number of posterior draws to 20,000 with a burn-in of 1,000, again to match the original research. Clicking OK will start the MCMC simulations. It takes just a minute or so to run. Since the coefficients of this VAR are able to take different values for each observation in the estimation sample, producing a table of coefficients similar to that given in a standard VAR 
is a little complicated. Instead, eView's displays charts of the coefficients, plotting their evolution through time. We'll concentrate our attention on the lag of GDP growth in its own equation to compare with the standard VAR value of 0.23. Note how the coefficient starts around 0.12, but then rapidly decreases into the negative, before climbing back up to positive. At no point does it get close to the standard VAR value. The coefficient path does roughly match that given in Chan and Jelyakov, however. Following estimation of a VAR, one of the most important tools is impulse response analysis. An impulse response calculates the trajectory of a variable following a change in another variable, using the estimated coefficients in a VAR. For standard VARs, the impact is constant through the estimation sample, since the coefficient estimates are constant through time. For time-varying VARs, the impact will change depending on the date of the impact, since the coefficient can vary at each date. Consequently, when performing impulse response analysis on a time-varying VAR in eViews, you must also specify the date at which you wish to analyze the impulse. We can perform this analysis by clicking on the Impulse button, and then entering the date upon which we wish to analyze the impulses. We'll enter 1990 quarter 1. We can choose whether to display the posterior distribution medians or means. We'll keep it at medians. And we can choose to display credibility intervals. The other options mirror those available for standard VAR impulse response analysis, namely horizon length of the response, whether to accumulate responses, and how to define the impulse. Clicking OK produces the output. We can navigate around the output deciding whether to show graphs or tables, and selecting which impulses or responses to display. As well as impulse response analysis, we can perform forecasting from a time varying VAR. This is done using the forecast button. Much like impulse responses, we can select whether to display the posterior medians or means and display credibility intervals. The rest of the options are similar to standard VAR forecasting.